If you've watched 90% of my videos, you know that I love breakfast. You know that I am the self-proclaimed champion of breakfast, AKA the king of eggs. You know, never skip leg day for you in the gym, never skip egg day for me in the kitchen. But that brings us to today's recipe or today's video, a breakfast sandwich reimagined with all sorts of flavors and all sorts of textures packaged between two thick cut slices of Texas toast. <sighs> I'm making a patty melt. I'm making a breakfast patty melt. So let's get on with the recipe. The first step to elevating the bacon element inside this sandwich is making it into sort of like a jam. Now it's not really a jam in the definition of it. It's more of like a relish. It's basically just onions and bacon cooked down together into a consistency that is a little sticky and a little soft because I like soft bacon. And in this case, this bacon jam, quote unquote, has that soft bacon. It's also got brown sugar, apple cider vinegar, a little cayenne for heat, and some garlic powder. The whole idea behind making the bacon jam was twofold. One, when using the same ingredients to repackage breakfast in this case, it'll often taste the same. Plus, a patty melt often has, you know, cheesy onions or something of the sort. So I was like, okay, let's make a bacon jam that'll be a little tangy via the apple cider vinegar, be a little sweet via the brown sugar and still give us that patty melt onion situation that we're looking for, which differentiates other sandwiches from patty melts. Now, as you can see, there's two things happening here. One, I'm using thick cut Texas toast, which lends itself perfect to a breakfast sandwich. And two, I'm using American cheese because I think American cheese is an incredible cheese to use on all breakfast sandwiches. Now that tool that you just saw me use to flatten out these sausage patties is a burger smasher. I know, real clever name, right? Easily found on Amazon. You're looking at like a five to $15 price range. It's not only good for stuff like this, it's great for any type of flattened smash burger that you wanna to create. To one piece of toast goes the sausage patty, to the other goes a generous amount of the bacon jam, and then it's time to fry the egg. And look, if you're not a runny egg person, all good, you scrambled. But for this, over easy is the move. Ooh, ooh, the bread is fluffy, it is toasted, it is thick. Now obviously I've pressed the sandwich down so it is a little flatter than it, it's advertised but that's the point of Texas toast. It already starts thick so when you press it it ends up being thicker than regular thick cut toast. Now American cheese. We have a custom made very easily done bacon jam that consists of obviously bacon, some onions, garlic powder, brown sugar, and cayenne pepper. And to really balance this whole sandwich up because it's obviously let's call it what it is. Is. There's a lot of fat, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, then a smashed sausage patty with more American cheese and to leave it all comfortably laying down on another piece of bread, some more American cheese. Each sandwich has three pieces of American cheese. I wanna say about three strips of bacon, three ounce burger patties. Guys, this is, this is an unmatched situation over here. I really wanna eat this, so let's just go in for it. Just this bacon jam on its own. Like, make that and you're good. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you liked the place we went to with breakfast. Maybe you like the bacon jam. Maybe you just want to use this video as inspiration to create your own breakfast sandwich. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think about this recipe or let me know if there's anything else you wanna see me make. Remember to hit that sub button and don't forget if you already are subbed to turn on notifications. See you guys on the next one. Bye.